The Whitman Robot 8 series allows you to create palletizing programs to follow a placing format with a minimum amount of programming. To utilize a palletizing program within the text editor, make sure that the robot is pre-taught the positions that the palletizing program will begin from. At the location in the program that the palletizing program should execute, select the part program setup and from the drop down select placing program. There are up to 16 placing programs available to be created in one text program. If you are creating a new palletizing program, select new and the screen to appear will allow you to choose the axes that are to be used in the palletizing program. If you are not utilizing that axis, you can simply uncheck and you will not have to teach that axis position. If utilizing, as we will, all three motorized axes in this example, select all by checking the axes and select select OK. The screen that appears next is the position of the first part in the palletizing program. The location that that part will be placed either on the conveyor or a placing location in all the axes in the palletizing program. You can also name the palletizing program by selecting the white box where it says placing program 001 and input via the keypad the name of the specific placing program you are creating. To teach the axes position, select the axes by checking the box and moving the robot to the specific location of the first part in that axis position in the palletizing program. Select the next axis to be taught and drive it to its first placing position in the palletizing program. And then the third axis move that into the position where it will be in the palletizing program when placing the first part. Once this is completed, select the second tab, and here you can teach the relative distance between where the first part is placed and either the end position, the last part, and put in a total number of parts in that axis, and the program will do the math to separate the distance equally within those two first position and end position coordinates. If preferred, you can check, choose to teach the relative distance between the first and second position in the axes, which in turn would allow you to teach the relative distance from the first location to the second location and then add the total number of parts in that axis placing program. On the Z axis, you select the axis, drive the robot in the direction from the first placing position to the second placing position and input the number of parts in that axis palletizing program. Move to the next axis to be taught, check the box, drive the axis in the appropriate direction for the relative distance between the first and the second part in the palletizing program, and input the number of parts in that axis. Lastly, choose the third axis, drive it in the appropriate direction using the sliders, and input the number of parts in that axis. Once this is complete, 
select the options tab and here you're allowed to teach the robot whether you are placing into a box and the box height that is required to be overridden prior to starting the palletizing program or if placing to a conveyor and not into a box uncheck it. The axes order is the order the axes will move from its preposition or prior position in the text program to the palletizing position and the placing order is the order that the palletizing program will follow. In this instance the axis order and the placing order being the same the Z axis will move to its first position then the X and then the Y and when the palletizing program is executed the Z X Y pattern will be followed. If you want to change this you can select from the drop-down the selections available. In this instance if we were to change it X will be the first axis to be filled so it will drop two parts or three parts in the X and then the Z will follow with its movement to do two parts in the Z and then the Y meaning that every time it comes over if you're placing only one part at a time it will move to the location to palletize in the Z X Y order but it will place in the X Z Y order if everything has been selected correctly when you select OK we should see that our math is correct that we're placing three parts in the X times two parts on the Z so there's a layer of six total parts we're doing two parts in the Y so 2 times 6 would be a total of 12 parts in this palletizing program. Select the close tab if this is correct and at this point you must insert the palletizing program into the text program. To do this on the 8 series robot select the icon identifying the palletizing programs select the palletizing program you want to insert at this time and add it as a stacking or unstacking program. Select OK and your palletizing program will be installed in the program. Transfer the program to the CPU from the text and you can step through the palletizing program using the step key and the robot will move to its palletizing position at the beginning position one for all axes and if you step again the robot will raise itself from the placing position and move to placing position two in the respective axes you can step through the entire placing program by doing this to ensure that all placing positions are correct and the order is as desired. 